if you had a message for um, AT aliens who are really wanting to delve into the content ownership space because the future is independent, right? Atlanta wants to be independent and wants to um, have its own pinnacle of success in the content creating space. What advice do you have for Atlanta as the culture shifts into prioritizing content ownership in the future? I, I mean, I think I'll, 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 like, no, no, you got that, Chris. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think that, um, <laughs> we have to be standard bearers. I think that when we all broke into the music space, you know, many, many moons ago, there was only 50 slots on the left-hand side of the chart. Whether you were independent, whether you were major, whether it didn't matter who your backing was, you wanted to be able to conquer one of those spots in that chart. And your, your standard had to be, you know, your, the standard of deliverables had to be to the point where it didn't matter. It didn't matter whether you made it on a four track machine or whether you're sitting in a in an 80 track studio. The same exists in the content space. We see so many unique stories that are put forward by phenomenal creators and they just have to be mindful of the standard of deliverables. Like so when you're making something, you're making it for Netflix or you're making it for this particular audience, just the consciousness of of, of that engine behind your creativity is what puts you in the forefront of whatever it is you're trying to do and starts to get you that credibility, not only here in this city, but beyond the city. And I'll, de I'll defer to coach with that. I mean, you couldn't have said it no better. <laughs> I mean, it, it, not for real, man. It's like, man, I just got <laughs> that question. I have so much in my head. I just want to get out. But um, we got all no, the time seriously. in the world. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, listen, man. If you if if you if 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 you can think about it, if if you feel like you can do it, man, it's right here. Don't give up. Like I I, I like to speak to all the creators out there, cause I you know like I meet so many of them, man. Like I made myself so accessible. I mean, the way I built my story is I made myself accessible. You know what I'm saying to 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 these people, and I talk to a lot of them, and you know. I, I was I was just like them, you know. What I mean, I, I moved to Atlanta. I'm not from Atlanta, you know. I, I came here with a dream, you know. I, I saw I saw something that sparked my mind. Actually, I saw Noontime. That's what sparked me to come here, you know. I saw Noontime and LaFace Records, and it sparked me. And when I came down here and I seen, I seen brothers that look like me, the same age as me, and probably grew up in the same neighborhood that I grew up in. And I seen what they were doing, and and it, it, it sparked it sparked a fire in me so hard. I was like, "Yo, I can do this," you know. So I want to speak to all the creatives, man. You know, like, don't if, if you have that spark, ignite that fire and keep going, you know. And I, I, I want to say we're gonna quality control is going to be an outlet for you guys. We're right here, so I want that to be known. Absolutely. And to elaborate on the question that I um, that I asked you, I'm so glad you had the little baby example. I just wish there was a hundred coach K's because from the traditional media space, I see a lot of people not get opportunities because they don't have the quote unquote credentials that is expected of them. But they are some of the most amazing, talented people I have ever met. And I forward their stuff to, you know, managers and media and it gets overlooked because, you know, the expectations of, you know, being traditionally trained, I don't I don't think that model should stand the way it has in media. So that's why I asked is because there are so many talented creatives in Atlanta who never get the chance because they may not have accreditation. They may not have internship experience. Nobody ever gave them a chance. So it's like, I love the fact that this could be an avenue where people get their first break. And I really appreciate that, Coach. It is. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And for me, I'm a product of Atlanta. Um, been here since 96. <laughs> I know I don't sound like it, but English is my second language. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we really like the story of Atlanta is the story of the American dream. When we moved here in 96, we left our homeland of um, Mukadishu, Somalia, because of civil war. And Atlanta took us in and I embraced black excellence and black culture because I could identify with it. That's why, you know, I can quote Bernard and, you know, Dr. King and John Lewis and Hosea and Ralph Abernathy because that's how I learned about our city was the street signs. Every time I went driving, 
and we noticed street signs, I would go home and like search online, like, okay, who was, you know, Benjamin E. Mays or who was Alonzo Herndon or who was this or that. Um, so Atlanta is a place of the American dream. Both of you have been able to reach that in this city. I've been able to reach that too. And I can't wait for other people to also find their American dream and their gold mine in, in the city as well. Um, any final thoughts before we wrap up? We really appreciate all, all of the insight you guys were able to share. Um, I just appreciate you having us. I appreciate us being able to carry this message of, of what our intention are it is, and just check back with us shortly. It'll be moving very shortly. <laughs> yeah. Coach. Um, I, I just want to, yeah, I was the same. I want to thank you, uh, you know, Naomi. This this was really great, and I hope it was informative, you know. It, every time I sit on one of these, it's informative for me. So I hope it's informative <laughs> for, you know, the people listening. No, seriously, you know. Um, and, you know, I want to thank um, United Masters for having us, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Steve is a really good friend of mine. So, you know, you know, he, he's another brother that's in the business that wasn't scared you know, and, and stuck his head out there, you know, and put his feet on the ground. So I it took my hat to that. So. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. And for everyone tuning in, we're so glad you could virtually pull up. Um, Atlanta influences everything. That's factual. That's actual. Select Con 2 presented by United Masters. This panel was Atlanta, the future of music and media. The future is now. The future is black excellence. The future is our ancestors. And we can't wait to take this up another level. Thank you. Thank you, guys.